Today we are going to work on smaller unknown comparing problems. Our problem is Cam has 31 crackers. Jack has 13 more crackers than Cam. How many crackers does Jack have? So just like the bigger unknown word problems, we are going to answer these two questions before we ever look at our equations. My first question is, who has greater? Well, Cam has 31 crackers. Jack has 13 more crackers than Cam. So if Jack has 13 more crackers than Cam does, that means Jack has the greater number of crackers. Who has fewer? Well, if Jack has more crackers than Cam, Cam is going to have the fewer number of crackers. I'm going to use what I said in these two questions to help me write my greater fewer difference equation down here. So who has greater? I know that's Jack. Let me see what the problem says about Jack. It says Jack has 13 more crackers than Cam. Do I know how many crackers Jack has? No, I don't. All I know is that he has 13 more than Cam does. So for Jack in the greater spot, I'm going to put a symbol. Now I need to know the fewer number. Who has fewer? Well, that's Cam. And the problem says Cam has 31 crackers. So I know what my fewer number is. It's 31. The last thing I need to know is what is the difference between the number of crackers that Cam has and the number of crackers that Jack has? Let's see. Jack has 13 more crackers than Cam. So the number that makes up the difference between the crackers that Cam and Jack has is 13. I'm going to put that in my different spot. I need to switch around my equation where the symbol for the unknown number is at the end so that I can solve it. If I look up here, I know that this is a subtraction problem, which means that my biggest number comes at the very beginning. My symbol and my missing number is what's at the beginning. So my symbol is going to be my biggest number there, which means now my biggest number is at the end. So this has to be an addition problem. I'm going to fill in my other two numbers from my fact family. And it looks like I just need to add 31 plus 13 to get my missing number. So I'm going to do that with my strategy down here. I'm drawing three tens and one one for 31. And I'm drawing one ten and three ones for 13. One, two, three, four. I can't regroup my ones. I'm going to count them one more time. Four. I know I have four ones. One, two, three, four. I have four tens also, which means that my missing number is 44. Before I'm done, I need to write my sentence. So what is this problem asking me? How many crackers does Jack have? Jack has 44 